Hey, good morning. As you can hear, it's going to be a storm, like flooding everywhere. So we'll do as much as we can. If you hear thunder and stuff, we're kind of done. But we're going to talk about really quickly right now, we're going to start talking about what we would have done. Lovely. What we would have done if we weren't doing what we're doing. I'm an, I'm an actor. That's what I was going to do. But if I wasn't an actor, what would I be doing? That would be the question. So I'm asking Dad, first of all, go ahead, and I'll explain mine. What are you asking? What would you have done if you didn't do what you did that you retired from your previous job? You've been doing that for, like, years. Huh? What? Dad. What? Oh. Uh, what else would I be doing if I was not doing what I did when I was doing it? Is that what you're saying? I did. <laughs> I don't like you. I know, I know. Uh, actually, probably, there, there are two things that I'd love to do. One I haven't really ever done, but I'd love to do it. The other I did for a while, and I love doing it, and that's teaching. I love teaching. Um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of uh, sharing knowledge with with students, uh, the, the whole process of learning is very fascinating, very almost emotional. Because I taught social studies for a while, and learning about the past and how people interacted with, with one another and how societies interacted um, was very fascinating and, and good insight into who we were, who we are, and hopefully where we're going in, in terms of. Uh, our existence in this environment. The only other thing I'd love to be doing would be flying. Um, I've told people many times I'd love to have been a pilot. I just like the, uh, the idea of flying. It's just a beautiful experience and that would be the only other avocation for me. Being a pilot of some, time, of some kind. Uh, I'd really like to be a jet pilot. And ultimately uh, from my sci-fi days in my youth when I was jumping off roofs and busting my butt trying to be Superman, uh, piloting a, a spacecraft into outer space and just uh, flying in the cosmos uh, for adventure after adventure. Why did you laugh when I told you I jumped <laughs> off the roof thinking I was Superman? That's not funny. I believed I could fly like so many other people. I'm right there with you, A Dad. few of us dared to be adventurous and jump off roofs. And we found out that gravity works very well here on the Earth. Well, you did fly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not flying. <laughs> flying is suspending yourself in a gravity field, not succumbing to gravity and going down. But, uh, yeah, teaching or piloting a, a, a plane or a spacecraft, that would be two things I'd like to do. And now, daughter, what would you be doing if you weren't doing what you're doing now that you did for so long? Okay, two things, and both I had taken classes in it. You'd be surprised. Number one, forensics. Yeah, I love forensics. You have said that before. You like forensic science, forensic, I love forensic that. anthropology. I believe is what you. Can I get to that point that I was going oh, to get? Oh, I to thought. That? Can I mix that together because I was going to talk about that? <sighs> Fine. So. Forensics. I had a forensic forensics class, and I loved Can't it. Can't even say it. <laughs> and I was <laughs> and I was going to take like medical classes and anatomy and everything. I was going to do it all if I didn't go into acting. Another class, anthropology. I loved it. I mean, I fell into it. I used to know all of the classes of. I guess, I don't know how to say it, how humans, before we became homo sapiens, I knew the other classes prior to us. I mean Neanderthals and Cro-Magnons and all that other stuff? Homo rabbitus. Homo, homo, homo erectus, homo, homo sapien, homo. Yeah. I used to know the whole class system. I loved it. Homo West Virginians and... Really? Dad? Oh, sorry. Dad, really? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Charming. He's such an angel. But. Homo Hatfield and McCoys. And Dad. Sorry. Really? Anyway. Yeah, I would have gone into forensic anthropology. I would have gone into the history of, like, 
crimes and murders, and I would have definitely tried to solve the case of Jack the Ripper. It was one of the most famous, it is one of the most famous unsolved crimes. And it's because of the technology back then compared with now. I would have gone in and would I probably have solved it? I would have worked with a lot of people and we would have tried to solve it. Homo stabuetitis Dad, with a knife. Oh, really? Sorry. Anyway. So, I would have done it all. Forensic anthropology. Yeah, I know. It's a little off the track of what I But I loved anthropology. And the reason I came up with this topic is because somebody posted something on my Facebook page about the world, the best anthropologist we all know. And it was Indiana Jones. And it's true. I love the Indiana Jones movies. And I like Harrison Ford. So I thought about how I loved my anthropology class. It was so fun. Homo Barbasian. Dad. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Mom's going to beat him up when she sees this. So take one last look at him. It's done. I'm still the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Whatever. Have a good day, guys, and be careful of the storm.